don't know if you recognize where I am. Some of you may have had the privilege to check out this place, but right now I am on the private driveway of the Kretkraft headquarters. Uh, and that's also the headquarters for Nantique Boats. So we're getting ready to go through the guard gate. Ooh, I gotta get up my pass. So I'm pretty excited to go pick up what I am getting ready to hook my truck up to because I've spent some time behind this boat, but not enough to really give a, a great review. And this boat is what I really think is gonna stand up to its reputation because it is the best multi-sport boat. And that is the Super Aeronautique GS22. So we're gonna talk about like, where does the name come from, the technology, how does it do it all? And uh, we're gonna wakeboard, water ski, wake surf, and probably even foil. Perfect. Okay, once we get to the house, we're gonna get it uncovered, set up, go through this thing. Let's go experience the GS22. All right, the GS22. Rusty's still at the boat show and he just scored this and I'm telling him to wear this on the flight home tonight. Quickly, let's talk about the name, the GS. The G, which started in 2012 as the world's best wakeboard and wake surf boat, it has the awards and track record to prove it, that that thing has changed the industry and now has been the flagship for not only Nautique, but what wake boats really look like today. So Ski Nautique has been around since 1925. Well, technically Correct Craft and Pine Castle Boat Company and all these things, but Ski Nautique has been the world's best ski boat for a long time. And that represents the S. So you have G and S, but how did they fit it all into this? Well, the engineers at Nautique, what they did was they, they took advantage of the different running attitudes when a boat is going different speeds. So if you have the water here and the boats here, the slower you go, the higher the nose goes, the more the tail or the stern of the boat drops. And so that's what you're doing really when you are wake surfing. You've got kind of that stern dropping into the water, displacing a lot of water, creating a big wave. As you go faster up to wakeboard speeds into the upper teens and low 20s, that boat is gonna start to plane off more. So it has a longer footprint, making a smaller wave than wake surfing, but still a big wake for wakeboarding. But when you're water skiing, you don't want that big wake. You want that wake to become flatter. And that's how they integrated the Ski Nautique features into the front of this. The G features in the back, Ski Nautique in the front. So when it's going faster, you get that flat Ski Nautique-like wake. So the GS22 weighs 4,900 pounds before you put fuel into it. It can put up to 59 gallons of fuel. You can have up to 15 people, and you can also get a factory ballast of 2,900 pounds, almost 3,000 pounds, all at the push of a button. Now, some of that weight is actually supplemental bags that are in the back if you really want to kick up that way for things like surfing and wakeboarding. We're also gonna have some world-class athletes come by to give us their opinion of how this thing water skis, wakeboards, surfs, so that's not just my opinion, you can also get theirs. Let's get things started, come on. Can you hear that? That high pitch noise, that's my stern thruster. You can turn so much faster with it. The stern thruster is an option you can get on the GS22, and honestly, it absolutely changes the boat's operate. One of the cool things about Nautiques is that they have the same helm layout in every model. They're gonna have some variations between like 
the screen, uh, the, the link. Um, the link pan array is a touch display that you actually have called Helm Command, which is over here. You can operate from here or up there. Um, some of the boats, like the Paragons, are going to have two screens. And if you guys want to learn how to use those, Nautique's YouTube channel has a bunch of tutorials that'll walk you through those. So I won't give you those details, but this has a really nice user interface. It means that it's easy to use. Like when you're looking at the wave and you want to change the shape of the wave, it's awesome. They've got different user settings. I want to point out that, that this helm is really laid out well for you to sit down below the glass. Most people's tendency when they get in a boat, they do this so they can see, but that's because the boat wasn't built to be sat in this way. We've pushed the instruments like the dash down this way, the windshield header up here. So you get a really good view. The mirror is right in line. So everything is in this great space so you can scan and you have a good view of everything without having to sit up above the glass to see. This seat keeps you really locked in. You've got the support here on the midsection and thighs. So you're locked in while you're going down the lake, but check this out. Throw the leg over, hanging out, change it from one rider to the next. This is comfortable. You can even, spin it around if you want to just hang out and while everybody's just having lunch or whatever. Cool feature. Here at the transom, we've got these nice lounges and they've actually angled them in, which is kind of cool. You got cup holders back here and the optional transom stereo remote. Check out the storage. You've got all this storage below. You can see that we've got the supplemental bags if you want to add that option when you want that bigger wake and wave. These are the sun pad filler cushions. And I was just talking to someone at the boat show. They're like, the wife wanted that to be filled in. So when they're hanging out, just floating, they have this nice lounge area. So you can get that as well. Oh, look at, I just put these here. This is a great spot for not only your phone, your drain plug goes there and sunglasses, things like that in that recessed tray. This is in the wraparound lounge configuration where you're just cruising down the lake or you're floating and you just want to have that social atmosphere. But once the action starts out the back, people are getting on the water, that kicks up, that kicks up, which also opens up this. I got room for another person to sit here, but there's more. Look at this. This is a great rear facing lounge. Everyone to have a really nice spot to check out all the action below, behind. Quickly talk about the storage before we leave this area. Under here, removable trash can, removable cooler. Under here, we've got access to our batteries. Really easy to get to those. This is your on off switch, as well as a little extra storage under here. We got some really nice storage underneath the passenger flip up. That's also the subwoofer. And this is our air dam. That allows you to really seal yourselves in. That's an option that I tell people like, that's one of the most important options you can get on your boat. There's a bunch of other great options like the stern thruster and stereo, things like that. Air dam, don't miss that one. Take a peek up here. Right now we've got the bow filler cushion, which is a great way to complete the lounge. You got this kind of play pin feel up here, but you can also remove that. And you have even more storage up here on both sides, port and starboard. All the way up here in the bow, we've got even more storage. Maybe a small anchor or some lines can go up there. Up here in the bow, we've got six cup holders. Nautique non-skid going all the way around so that you can safely go to and from the dock. And it's also noted, make sure no more than three people in the bow. That's the law to keep you safe. I walked right over something, which is a great thing to miss because you're not gonna kick this by accident. This here is our pop-up ski pylon. So you get that true ski pull. That's pretty cool. So you've got this right where you, where you want it for when you're skiing, nice and low, up towards the center of the boat. But when you're not using it, that's pretty neat. If you can't tell by now, the 2024 Super Aeronautique GS22 is an amazing boat. It's honestly one of my favorite boats right now. 
it has such a wide range of things that it can do. So we had Charlie Ross come over and do some amazing skiing. We had Rusty Milanowski come out where he absolutely crushed it off the wake. What I really liked is the fact that you could really size it down when you wanna have that small wake for people learning to wakeboard. I was able to get down to 16.5 miles an hour and still have a clean wake on both sides. That's pretty amazing for a boat that can size up to such a big wake. Well, if you haven't been in the GS22 or any other Nautique, I encourage you to find a dealer near you where you guys can schedule a test drive. And if you guys have any questions or comments about the boats or anything else behind the boat, put those below. And I always appreciate it when you guys like and share because then the content can get out there that much more, encouraging people to stay active. If you don't subscribe, maybe consider doing that. You can also hit the notification bell so you know when videos go live. And if you want to learn more about the boats, go check them out at nautique.com. And no matter what you're doing, enjoy your ride. Peace. Man, that boat is awesome. For real. I really like it.